The I call covar samp function. In this video, we'll look at the covar samp function, which returns a covariance of a set of number pairs. Let's take a look at some examples. First, we'll just run the covar samp function on this customer order table. We put in two parameters. The first is the tax column, which represents the tax amount for each order. The second is the order value column, which represents the total for each order. I've also given it a column alias to make the result easier to read. Let's run this query now. We can see it has an overall covar SAMP value of about 24,000. We can also use the covar SAMP function as an analytic function. This means we can select all the records in the customer order table, display some columns for each record, and then display the covar SAMP function over a certain subgroup of records which in this case I'm displaying for the order ID. Let's run this query. We can see the results here that shows one record for each order and then the covar SAMP value. Instead of the order ID, I could do this on the customer ID. Let's run this query again. You can see we get different results here. We can see that the covar SAMP value is very similar here it's actually the exact same value. This is because the Covar SAMP has been calculated for each customer ID, and all of these orders here have the same customer ID. When we move down to customer ID 2, they all have the same value here. So this means it's calculated the Covar SAMP on a subset of records, and that subset is everything for the same customer ID. So that's how you can use the Covar SAMP function. If you want to know more, you can click on this link here and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.